Good pass. Nice try. So just in terms of organisation, by the looks of it, the Blues, you'll start off with two players in this end um, and the Reds have three. So just rotate round, OK? So just take it in turns. Have a look at what each other's doing. On that practice day, you can go inside or outside the mannequin and then look at your shots. OK, we talked about offsides before, so just think about that as you're playing. In the other half, um, obviously three servers, OK? When we flip that round, just have two servers. So it'll be a close range shot and a cross. That makes sense? Good, finish. Good, little close range one. Yes, Harley, come on. Good, you get three out of three. Oh, gem lucky. Good, next one, play. Yes, Harley, come on, get a ball. Good, close range one, Harley, come on. So this first one, keep our distance, and it's just a, it's a, a shot after you've taken a touch. If it's on, you can hit it, then great, but likelihood is you're going to be from this area, so you might need to control it and then look at where you're going to shoot. Then we come out to Marcus to try and get yourself in line back up here. Marcus, knock it out your feet. And now we're then looking to come in for that cross into these areas, OK? And you might just give us some sort of movement as well. Does that make sense? Yeah? Go and show me. Good. Can you finish? Unlucky. Great finish. Well done. Good. Can we hit it low? Good. Good, good, good. OK. These rebounds are really important. Jack does a little bit of movement there. I've got to try and stay in line, OK? Now, if I can try and get myself across here, I'm now looking to get into this position and he comes across, and it might just be a little tap in if it comes off the keeper. Or if he goes wider, what else might he do? Cross the ball as well, OK? So we're just looking for those little areas of the pitch if we can. Be quick, you have to be quick. Finish! Well done. Just for a minute or so now, I want to be a little bit of a competition. You're going to get one point if you hit the target, OK? One point if you hit the target. Two points if you score. Three points if you score the perfect goal we're looking for in this practice, which is what? Cross goal. Cross goal right into that far corner. Touch, finish quickly. Good, Matt. Marcus, good movement. Unlucky, well done. Okay, relax there, relax there. Now, why don't you want to be in front of what Max is doing there? Because you can come and get it. So I need to have an angle and also want to come onto the ball as well. So just think about now with the cross. Can I get back and just be more patient? Okay, and not go in front of the ball too early. Because I want to again arrive as that ball comes in. Marcus, just come in here a minute and show us those types of movements that you might give that wide player. Good. Look at that, good. Or I might do the reverse, which is maybe step this way, Marcus, then go where? Near post, that little run across, and it might be then that little flick into the far corner. OK, so just think about your movement here. Ready? Play. Good. Might be your first time if it's on. Good. Can you get back on? Be patient. Yes. OK, unlucky. Think about a better set of surface you might be able to use. Good, good. Unlucky. Next one. Get out your feet early, Jem. So the wide player, we're looking for you to make a big touch at your feet, then cross the ball early, OK? Finish, finish. Good lad. OK, so just do it one at a time. OK, just tell me some bits and pieces that you try to do in your area of the pitch, OK? So if we start off, where were you working, Charlie, in this one? Uh, yeah. So on this area of the pitch here, what were some of the key things, Charlie, when you were finishing? Um, on the... On the um the two short passes, um, take a touch before. Okay, so that longer one, <coughs> take a touch, but then what might you need to do? Strike it quick. Strike it really quick. Why is that important? Because it's going to close you down in the game. Brilliant. So later on when we go into the games, that real intent to get your shot, get your touch, sorry, quick touch maybe and then quick shot, okay, before he can set himself. And when you're doing the crossing, time your runs and put some disguise in it. Okay. Okay. So it might be that you, if he goes too early too soon, you might try and nick it in. Okay. But here, what do we want? A big touch out of our feet, then that player crossing the ball, didn't we? Okay. So it might be if he starts coming, <coughs> might take up a different area. All right. In here, what are we trying to achieve? 
So Camille, is that your group? Okay, so in this one here, so we're beating a man here, yeah. and then we're trying to then shoot across, aren't we, into that far corner if we can. Why do you want to go across the goal, though? Because <coughs> if, the keeper, if the keeper spills it, then it's to the rebound player on the other Okay, so what was your teammate's role, then? What do we say about him and his little rebounds? Just to, just to go just in front of the post. Okay, so he might just take up a line just outside if that gets spilt into that sort of area we're trying to predict, aren't we? Okay. Does he go in front of his, his teammate? Or stay behind him? Yeah, just be patient, wait for it to come in. And then what sort of techniques do we need when we're finishing from those areas? Yeah, it might be on if you've got distance, but sometimes it might just be real quick, sharp movements of your feet and a big surface just to get it on target. The keeper might be on the ground, so you've just got to get a good time.